Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts, and today I am back with sketch number seven for the March Madness Sketch Challenge with Scrap Now, Sleep Later. This is the sketch that we're going to be using, and I pulled out the Simple Stories Family Fun Collection, and I'm going to pull out the bowling pieces from this collection to scrapbook a birthday kind of bowling party. It really wasn't a party, it was just kind of like goo bowling for your birthday. So of course the first thing that I do is cut out all of the paper pieces that I'm going to need for this particular sketch and it calls for a couple of quarter inch strips. It did call for one quarter inch strip but I went ahead and used that ticket paper and just cut out a strip for that and decided to go with a larger strip for that. I did have to pull out this like orange paper with the circles on it. I didn't have enough paper in this collection. I wish that these collections would have more b-sides as opposed to like these very prominent things on the other side. So I pulled out this circle paper thinking that it kind of looks like bowling balls. I mean it's circles and I needed a large piece in the center. Most of it does end up getting covered up so it's really more of just like an orange pop of color. I go ahead and cut down my photos to the 3x4 size. I had one extra photo and what I decided to do was go ahead and use a flip flap in the 3x4 size and then I had to of course use two of the photos on there so then I was one photo short but I went ahead and added a card that says let's bowl and I feel like it it works really well especially since the photos that I did put in the flip flaps are kind of repetitive photos of them like throwing the bowling ball down the alley. So as I go ahead and put the papers down, I do want to remind you that this March Madness over at Scrap Now Sleep Later is a challenge that's going on. You have the opportunity to win a prize every single day. The sketch goes up at 9 a.m. I also post my video in the group at 9 a.m. And then you have until 9 a.m. the next day to post your layout to match the sketch. If you get your comment in before 9 a.m., you will have the opportunity to win a prize for that particular day. Then on Sundays, if you have created a layout based on the sketch for the entire week, then you will get a chance to win a weekly prize. And then at the end of the month, if you complete all 31 layouts, you will have the opportunity to be entered into the grand prize drawing, which is a $100 gift certificate to close to my heart, which is super exciting. And I know that a lot of us are very saddened by the news that close to my heart is closing. This giveaway and March Madness is not affected by that at all. Everything has already kind of been set in motion and is ready to go. So I highly encourage you to go check out the Scrap Now Sleep Later Facebook group and join in on this madness that we are doing in March of a layout a day. So I think I got all of like the base paper down. I did go ahead and mount this one photo up on a red cardstock. The sketch does call for that photo to be highlighted and I decided to use the one of the birthday boy and his mom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the left side of the paper. So I wanted to ask you guys, when you heard about the news of Close to My Heart closing, was there anything that you were like, oh my goodness, I have to have that? Because for me, it was flip flaps. I have been really loving flip flaps lately. And I actually just sent a message over to Veronica before this all happened of, hey, I need some more four by four flip flaps. And I just wanted her to order two. And like literally two days later, the news came out. So I was like, well, I'm gonna be ordering more than two. I ended up ordering uh, five sets of the four by four, the four by six, the three by four, and the three by three. I'm hoping that by the time I get through all of those that there will be somebody that has come along and uh, made some of those. I know there's a couple other places that also make the flip flaps and I am just super sad if I don't get the opportunity to purchase them forever and ever because I do love them. So what about you guys? What is a product that you are super sad about once close to my heart? is no longer around. What are you going to be missing? All right, all of my photos are down. I did go ahead and add that three by four card over to the far right hand side. I went through the ephemera packs. I pulled out all of the bowling pieces and I'm starting to add those to my clusters. I did go through my embellishment book and I have a 
I think it's like two pages maybe of just like random birthday things that have come from other collections or maybe some uh, ephemera pieces that I picked up and I found this black birthday I think it actually went with a happy birthday but I didn't take the happy because of my title is going to be birthday bowling so I used some tile stickers put them up on the foam strips and then nestled it uh, right underneath the word birthday and then I added a circle from the sticker book that has some bowling pins and a bowling ball on it. And that is kind of my title cluster up there in the upper left-hand corner. Over on the far left-hand side, I have a little card there that says, Oh, strike. Again, some bowling balls and some bowling pins. And then I'm also going to add a little teal arrow over there as well. And then over on the far right-hand side, I just added a circle that said fun times. And then of course, adding my enamel dots to each one of my clusters to round it out. So here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. Thank you for spending your time today with me as I walk through this process of the birthday bowling. It did come together pretty quickly and I'm super excited about that. All right, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.